In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can go from no money and a bad credit score to financial freedom in five years or less. I'm going to assume that you have some debt, that you have a very low credit score, and that you don't have a ton of money in your pocket, but you do have a decent job. And if you're in a better position than that, then you can do this even faster so this video still applies to you. And if you're a worse off position than that, I'll help you get out of that as well. I have created a $25 million rental portfolio in the past six years doing this on the side and doing it honestly pretty inefficiently at first. So what I'm gonna do is help you get there quicker and more efficiently by learning from my mistakes and following this guide. So you can do what I did or more if that's what you really want. I have given advice like this scattered throughout videos on my channel, but this is the one and only video I've done where I'm walking through every step of the way and having it all in one quick, simple video. Get your pen and paper out because this is gonna be a very detailed video that will show you exactly how to do it. It's going to be worth your time. What I'm about to show you is simple. It's not easy, I didn't say easy. There is a difference between simple and easy. What I'm gonna show you is a pretty simple process, but it will require hard work. It will require you to take action and it will require you to go out and get outside your comfort zone. But most people are very happy and willing to work 40 to 50 years for somebody else. Pinch pennies, save a little bit of money, retire when you're 65, maybe 70, and have a few good years of health before you actually, you know, kind of start to just sit around and not have the energy to do a ton. So what I'm gonna show you is how to do this in five years. Yes, it's gonna be a grind. Yes, it's gonna be a hard work, but you're gonna have the rest of your life to reap the fruits of this five years of hard work or less that I'm gonna show you how to do. Step one, well actually right before step one, step zero, like this video. All right, step one, make connections and raise your credit score. This is the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna start to make connections and you're gonna get your credit score raised. This one usually will take one to six months, if not less. Now let's talk about how you do that. I always say, and it's true, that you don't need a good credit or any credit to invest in real estate. And that's true, you can wholesale or fix and flip and do things that don't require credit. However, if you want to be financially free and if you want this to go smoother and quicker, you're going to need to have a decent credit score. You don't need anything crazy, but I would say mid to upper 600 to low 700 should be your target. So if you're there, great. If you're not, let's talk about how to get you there. The first part of this step is to make local connections. I say this a lot, but I cannot say it enough. Join your local real estate investing Facebook groups and join your local real estate investing meetups. There's people in there that are gonna change your life. There's connections in there that will help you do this. There's people to buy houses from, there's people to sell houses to, there's contractors, there's agents, there's investors, there's other people you can learn from, there's insurance agents, there's everybody in those groups. So start to build a foundation. We're not done with building this foundation of connectors and your local community, but this is a great place to get started. We're gonna build this foundation of connections that's gonna make your life so much easier. So join those local groups and start to get to know people. It takes time to develop these relationships because these are gonna be life lasting and this is gonna be the lifeblood of your business is your relationships you create. Real estate's a relationship business. So start now and let's build an incredible foundation. So join those groups, go to those meetups and get to know people. You never know, the next person you meet online or on those local groups could change your life and eventually someone you meet there will change your life and you will start to build an awesome team to work with going forward. The second part of this step is starting to raise your credit. There's a couple things that you can do and you can pay for it, but you haven't made any money yet. The next couple steps, I'm gonna talk about how to make money so then you can pay to raise your credit. But for now, you don't have a ton of money and you're not gonna pay to raise it. So there's things that you can do to start to get your credit score raised. The first is, Find out what your credit score is. It's super simple. There's a million different sites you can go to to find out what your actual credit score is. The second is become an authorized user on your parents or an older sibling or somebody you know and trust. Become an authorized user on their account. You don't have to get a credit card and you don't have to actually do anything with it. In fact, they probably won't want you to do anything with it. However, if you become an authorized user on that account with good credit, it will naturally start to bring your credit score up. The third thing to do would be to get a secured credit card. This is a card that all the major credit card companies have. It's basically like a prepaid Visa card. At the beginning of the month, you upload, let's say $500 onto that card, and then buying things you normally buy, you start to pull away from that and get that down to close to zero. And then the next month you preload it again with $500. It just shows the credit card companies and the bureaus that you're able to stick to a plan and manage your money. There's a lot of other ways to quickly raise your credit score. So click on this video above if you want more details on raising your credit score. But for this video, let's move on. Step two, 
let's get some money and let's get some experience. This one will take anywhere from one month to 12 months, depending on how quickly that first step went for you. It could go quickly or it could take a while. Everybody works at their own pace, but this one usually will take a year or less. And like I said earlier, don't get caught up on this time frame. I'm helping you do it in a handful of years or less, maybe a little bit more, but most people and most of you watching this are willing to or were planning to work for 40 to 50 years. Let's focus, let's grind, and let's get this done. Now that you have started to make some local connections and you've hopefully started to build that credit score up, let's get some money so you can accelerate both of those things. All right, here's some action items. Use the local connections you have been making over the past you know, year or several months and start to get into wholesaling real estate. You might have already done this step as you're doing those other two, but now I want you to intentionally go out and wholesale houses or at least one house to get some money in your pocket. I would say on average, you're gonna make anywhere from five grand to 25 grand on your first wholesale deal. It'll be nice to have that money in the bank for security purposes and lending purposes on the next couple steps, but it'll be also nice to have that to just to have some safety net in there. And also I would personally pay that to a credit card repair company to get your credit repaired sooner rather than later. Wholesaling real estate, in case you don't know what that is, is basically flipping real estate without fixing it up. You get a property under contract to purchase on this contract, and then you sell this contract usually before closing to somebody else that has money. Your credit score is not the best yet and you maybe don't have a ton of money like we talked earlier, but you don't need any money to wholesale real estate. You just need hard work and experience. You're just selling paper. I get a property under contract to purchase for 150,000. Then I sell that before closing to another investor for 175,000, let's say. Then at the closing table, I get paid 25 grand just for selling that paper and finding the deal. Yes, it's hard work and it takes effort to find these deals. There's not gonna be something you just look on Zillow or look on Redfin or look online and find, you're gonna to have to find off-market deals. So let's kind of talk about a few ways that you can go find off-market deals so you can get a big chunk of money in your pocket now to accelerate this process. If you've been doing what I said and you've been out meeting people, going to local meetups, going to your online groups and talking to agents and wholesalers and a bunch of different other people, you're probably going to have built enough connections to find a wholesale deal. I mean, they're gonna bring you this deal because they know you're looking. If you're not, and if you haven't made those relationships yet, make sure you're starting to tell people now that you're looking for deals to wholesale. As you're building those connections, make sure they know you're looking to buy rentals and you're looking to wholesale. Now let's talk about some ways outside these local connections that you can use to actually find deals. But before I do, don't think that you have to spend money to find deals. We buy 250 houses a year at least. I think we're gonna do a little more than that this year and hopefully 300 next year. And over half of them come from just networking, talking to real estate agents, talking to other wholesalers, talking to mold remediators, talking to other law attorneys, talking to senior care facilities, those type of things, talking to other people and letting them know you're looking for distressed as is houses. You will buy houses if you do that. Now, if you wanna speed that up because those relationships take time, here's some ways that you can spend a little bit of money and get leads. The first one is driving for dollars. If you have a car, you can drive around either on your way to work or from work or just spend some specific time looking for distressed houses. You drive around and drive a neighborhood that you wouldn't mind owning or wholesaling a house in, and you look for that eyesore on that block or in that neighborhood. Not every neighborhood has them, but these are the houses that need a lot of work, and you can tell that from the outside. They're abandoned or appear abandoned. You know, grass is growing several feet high, or you know, there's stickers on the front door saying, you know, the house is condemned, or there's mail coming out of the mailbox. I'm talking abandoned, distressed houses, not just houses that people don't take the best care of. Those may work, but these distressed, foreclosed, pre-foreclosed, condemned looking houses are the ones that are going to sell to a real estate investor. It might be next week, it might be next year, but they are going to eventually sell to an investor because your average home buyer is not going to want to buy a house and fix it up because they don't have the time, energy, or money, or know-how to do it. So it's going to go to an investor. So you drive around and you look for these houses. You can either go knock on the door of their home and ask if they're looking to sell. You can send them mail or call them or email them or do what we do and most people do is use the deal machine app it's a drive for dollars app that teaches you exactly how to do it best practices all on your phone it tracks you you can send mail from it you can email from it. you can call from it does everything for you basically besides drive the car and we know the owner so we can give you a free trial so use the code faster freedom links in the description below or just type in faster freedom when you're trying it out and you get a free seven-day trial and free deal credits just for signing up. 
And after six days, if you don't like it or you don't think it'll work, cancel it. No money out of pocket. I don't get paid anything for your free trial. I'm just trying to help you out. Another way that's pretty inexpensive is bandit signs. You know, those little we buy houses signs, those little ones, you know, two foot by three foot on the side of the road that you see on intersections. A, call every single one you see as long as you're stopped you know, snap a picture of it and call that later. That's another wholesaler that you could potentially buy rental houses from, or even they wholesale to you and you wholesale to an end buyer. So those are great sources for houses, but also you can go directly to the source and put those signs out yourself. You can buy a couple hundred online for a couple hundred bucks and go put them around your town. You can buy them blank and write Sharpie on them. You can do a lot of different things, but between connections that you're gonna be making anyway, driving for dollars and these bandit signs, you will get deals if you're willing to put in the time and the effort. And understand, again, this is step two. This could still take some time. You're probably not gonna get a deal in your first couple months, but if you stick with this, you will get deals and you will be on that path towards financial freedom and that path towards enjoying your damn life rather than working with somebody else and making somebody else wealthy. Step three, get your funding lined up. You've been developing relationships, your credit scores raise, you have some experience, you've done a deal or two, you've wholesaled, maybe you've even flipped a property, meaning you bought it, fixed it up and sold it, but you've actually got some experience in real estate now, your credit score is raised up, so now go talk to lenders and get your funding lined up. I talk about how to do that in this video above if you want to learn more about finding a private money lender. There are places that you can go to get your initial funding lined up. I talk about hard money lenders in this video. If you wanna learn how to find your local hard money lender, super easy to find, super easy to deal with, but they're gonna look at your credit score a little bit and potentially look at your income. So those are some places and sources you can go, private money and hard money, to get your initial purchase and fix up. Some hard money lenders and private money lenders most, if you develop a good enough relationship, will fund 100% of your purchase price. In step four, I'm gonna talk a little bit of details and tactically how to actually do it step by step, but just know you need to get your funding lined up. So talk to private money lenders, talk to hard money lenders, get to know them. They're probably in your local groups and meetings and you probably already met them, but if you have not, be intentional about meeting them with these relationships you've developed over the past couple of years. And this step again can take anywhere from a couple months to a year. So depending on how quickly you're moving, these first three steps should total have been taking you maybe six, eight months to a, a, a maybe a year and a half or two years. So we should still be kind of newer in the process, but you can do this in that time or less. Most people who actually go out and take action right away and make a killer and crush it, do this all in six months or less. But I'm assuming that you're coming from a, a spot that's a little harder to get some traction, like we talked earlier, you know, with the lower credit score and not much money. So it's gonna take you a little bit longer. But now that you've got some footing underneath you, talk to these local lenders and also get to know your local real and also get to know your local small real estate investing banks. So find your small banks. You're gonna to talk to other real estate investors you develop relationships with. Also, you know, just go online and look for small local bank. We're not talking Bank of America or Commerce Bank. We're talking First State Bank of whatever town you're in or this county bank. Just your small community banks and your small community credit unions Get to know them, contact them, talk to their commercial lending division, and ask them if they do cash out refinances. That's all you need to say. If they do them, they will know. They'll ask you questions and you can set up a meeting or you know maybe send them an email. But if they don't know what that is, stop wasting your time, move on. I went to 20 banks before one said yes when I got started, so don't give up. Again, to reiterate, this takes time and effort, but it can and will be done if you're willing to put in that time and effort. All right, getting ready to talk about step four. The first three steps were building foundation, building relationships, getting your money together, getting your credit score ready, but now we're ready to blast off. And this step can take from, you know, a year and a half, two years after you started into however long you wanna do this. So this can happen pretty quickly, but this is the step that makes it all happen. And this is the step where you start to see money coming in and growing a rental portfolio of real estate. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't, and also subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. We go live on this channel all the time. So if you wanna have one-on-one -on -one interactions, have your questions answered, see all the new videos that come out, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, step four, let's get into the tactical parts about this. Let's talk about now that you have this incredible foundation built, which like I said, could take you, you know, several months or a year or two, or it could happen sooner if you want, but now that you have this foundation built, your credit score is there, you have a ton of connections, you've talked to people, you've done a few deals, you've talked to your lenders, you're ready to rock. 
now you start the burrs process. Now I'm gonna simply talk about it, but if you want a detailed video on the burrs process, click on this video above where I explain it in detail and even go through a house before and after and show you exactly how you can do it without using any of your own money. This is about scaling and buying rentals and growing your wealth and taking control of your life. Imagine being in control of your life. Imagine you having control over how much money you make every single month and you not worrying about paying bills and not looking at price tags when you buy things, when you buy clothes, shoes, whatever, not worrying about buying too many Starbucks every single week. So this is where you can get to that point. It's the Burrs method or the Burrs process. I just set up the perfect foundation for you and now you can grow and scale. That video explains it better than I can here, but for a quick example, you buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and scale, meaning you're using other people's money to buy a distressed house, using other people's money to fix it up, you're getting it rented to an amazing tenant, and then you're refinancing and taking that refinance money and paying back your initial lender who lent you the money to buy the house and to fix it up, plus interest, and now this bank, the small local bank that I told you to connect with in step three, has a mortgage on the property, but the rent that you collected on this nice rehab property more than covers the mortgage plus all owning expenses and you get cash flow on top of that. So every single property you buy, you get two to 400 bucks a month of cash flow. That adds up pretty quickly if you're scaling any level, plus the properties go up in value and tenants pay the mortgage down. I've taken out over $2 million of equity from those properties going up in value and tenants paying the mortgage down just in the past 18 months. So you get cash flow, you can tap into that equity and really, really make a difference. Then after that, you scale and do this at a higher level. Now that you've been doing this for a while and involved in the real estate game, once you're to this point, you can really, really grow and you'd be amazed and surprised and shocked and whatever else adjective you can think of how quickly this can happen. And also, don't get discouraged because, oh, how many $400 a month cash flow properties do I need to have to be free? less than you think, it can happen quickly, but also you're gonna be coming across so many deals, all these connections, all these ways I've taught you to find deals, you can wholesale two or three houses a year or flip two or three houses a year and make an extra 50 or 100 grand plus be bringing in this passive income. I'm not showing you how to just make a little bit of money. I'm trying to show you how to create the life that you've always wanted. And that will probably happen from a lot of rental properties, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 rentals, plus a wholesale or flip a year to get you to that couple hundred thousand dollars of income actively and passively coming in every single month. And then from there, you can grow more and get to 25 million rentals like I have. You can stop buying and just sit and relax, or you can continue to work your job and just have this extra income coming on the side, and then you decide when and if you wanna quit. If you don't, just continue to grow. If you're not doing something love, you can quit that job and do this full-time and really scale like I did. My first three years in real estate, I probably bought 25 doors. My next three years, once I went full-time, I bought 175 additional doors on top of that, plus three storage facilities. So you can do this, I promise. I'm not like super smart or incredibly good at this. I just am willing to take action, willing to go out and do it, learn from my mistakes, and my goal is to help you not make as many mistakes. Hopefully you saw some value out of this video. If you did, hopefully you've already liked it. Hopefully you've already subscribed. Also comment on this video about how many rental properties you want to own one day so that you can be financially free. Also share this with a friend if you got any value out of this. Hopefully they'll see it. And if this kind of seemed like a lot, go back and rewatch it. And I have almost 300 videos on this channel that break all this stuff down into more detail. I pointed you to a few in this video, but there's also a ton on this channel.